My name is Tamika. I'm 13. I've been able to go to this new school for two days. Tibet. A country as large as Western Europe situated at an average of 4,000 meters above sea level. Today, more than 50 years after the Chinese invasion in 1950, Tibet is one of the poorest countries in the world. Literacy remains at about 38% for men and only 13% for women. Summer is very short, and for 10 months of the year, the temperature remains below zero centigrade. With the support of the UBS Optimus Foundation, a new school for 50 girls was opened in Kenlo in September 2002. That's where we met Tumuka. When I leave school, I want to work and make enough money to help my sick mother and my family. Tumuka's family doesn't have enough money to pay for the official state school. If Tumuka couldn't go to our school, she would have to work in a restaurant and wash dishes, or maybe even to work as a prostitute. My mother had to move far away to earn money for our family. The work was very hard, so she got sick. So my 82-year-old grandmother had to take care of us. I miss my mother. Working with local authorities, the partner organization, Rokpa International, selects the Tibetan girls according to the following criteria. Whether they have lost both parents or just one parent, and whether they come from very poor families. The girls get a full education in which the handing down of Tibetan culture is emphasized. When they leave school, they'll all have learned a trade as a cook, a dressmaker, or a thanker painter. The girls who are particularly gifted may go on to study medicine at the local university. After some hesitation, Tumaka agrees to let us go and visit her grandmother. She lives in a small village in the Tibetan highlands. We get there after a four-hour drive and are surprised to find a very open-minded grandmother. I'm very happy Tomoka can go to this new school. She'll learn Tibetan, Chinese and English, and many other things she'll need one day to get decent work. Of course, it isn't easy to say goodbye and leave the family behind. But Tomoka feels that this is an opportunity which will lead her to a future with hope and that maybe one day her children will also go to school. Thanks to the donations of UBS clients, the UBS Optimus Foundation was able to build and maintain this school for 50 girls. The foundation's aim is for the school to welcome and house a further 50 to 100 children in the near future. Only 1,000 euro are needed to guarantee a year of all expenses for a young girl such as Tomoka. Mm -hmm.